an old banger there up on blocks. And it's backfiring and belching. You didn't say farting, but you meant it. <laughs> and the old minister for finance has his head under the bonnet. And he's doing a bit of fine tuning with the hammer. <laughs> I had this notion of Jimmy McGee being stopped at the garden. <laughs> Stodd, stand there. Hello, how you doing? How are you, Jimmy? Do you know what speed you were doing there? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 but if you'd ask me what speed I was doing on the way to the 84 Monster Farm, <laughs> it would have been 75 between Ness and Newbridge. <laughs> 86 all the way from Newbridge, Turlingford, and an astonishing 110 <laughs> all the way from Ness, Turlingford into Turles. The, 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 thing is, um, um, uh, gay, that, uh, it, 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 We're looking at the, the, the Christmas trees and the, the, the thing that I would be hoping for um, with the Christmas trees is growth. 33.33% um, <laughs> in the trees would be uh, uh, tremendous, but uh, I, I think that Mr. Spring is going to discover that uh, the, the, the Christmas tree is very like the political system and that, uh, uh, as the fairy indeed knows, the, the closer you get to the top, um, the more uncomfortable it gets. <laughs> I think he would probably say, F and E, just say, what are you doing? You're breaking my Mara. <laughs> I'm the only point. I'm trying to run this place. I've got gobshites everywhere. <laughs> no, no, well, of course, uh, you know, gay, okay, that is part of the new protocol, uh, uh, because we have a new Elysee Palace. Uh, that we adopt French protocol uh, and so all uh, the TDs and all the ministers, particularly cabinet meetings, the ministers come in and uh, kiss me on both cheeks uh, before the, the meeting and then I, I pull up my trousers <laughs> and uh, of course uh, we get on with it. We never saw that coming. <laughs> He, uh, he, also had, he also had one of my favorite songs about his own pet Alsatian because he was an accomplished and very funny songwriter. Watch this. <laughs> the times are now in terror, final saved us one and all. So we looked at him as he lay there on the ceiling, the floor and the wall. Another matter for our Ireland by Brexania cruelly slain. You win. Yes. Some day up there, I hope it'll be an Alsatian once again. An Alsatian once again. An Alsatian once again. Poor Eamon in with the murderer, a man who was going down for life, who turned to him and said, well, Hello, Blondie. <laughs> How do you feel about being my new wife? <laughs> but Eamon started talking about Brady, attacking Maradona and Stapleton. John Hume, Jackie Charlton, Mrs. Robinson. You know the list, it just goes on and on. <laughs> now the psycho in the cell who fancied him all had to suffer the tyranny the whole damn night. When dawn broke over Pibsborough next morning, the poor sod was swinging gently from the light. <laughs> Singing, release the little bollocks in the wind. Sing out, sing out, sing out! Get them out of here, I hear them sing. Skitty doop, like doop, like that. On their window, they're banging. Get them out, they're wing back hanging. Or at least the little bollocks in the wind. Thanks. In uh, September 94, he came on the show and told us about a brand new television series which was to bring him huge success, and he was looking forward to it so much. Have a look at this. I'm off to Channel 4. Uh, I think this is why I'm slightly in the black gear tonight, because yes. uh, there's a new sitcom 
coming on Channel 4 called Father Ted, and uh, the writers are two insane geniuses. This is not a joke now, this, this, is, is, serious. Serious. this, is, this is serious. Two insane geniuses called Graham Linhan and Arthur Matthews, and they, I suppose because of my previous clerical experience, they decided I might make um, a suitable priest. So I got the role as Father, of Father Ted in the Father Ted show, which is produced by Hattrick Productions. They're, they do all the Angus Dayton and Clive... Um, Anderson stuff. And kind of the AC Milan of comedy producers. Is this a series? A series, yeah. It, it runs for. I'm off to London and it'll be great. Golden Bennett up to see Jurgen Klinsmann. Do leave it out. Pick it out of back then, it's son. <laughs> so I think it'll be great fun to, to live for a while in London and, and do the gig and uh, have a good time. And what are, are you an Irish priest now in this? Are you, do you have to do I'm the not prepared to say on that gig. I, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to tip my hand on that. But uh, I, it would be. It would be. There's a there's a high um, Irish element in it. But it's. It's. I don't think it's peculiarly or particularly Irish. Uh, I, think it, I think it will travel very well. It, oh, it's no. just an insane uh, piece of writing by these uh, two insane geniuses oh. and Jeffrey Perkins at Hattrick. Uh, well, we wish you well with that. How about James that? Gallagher. Well, <laughs> And off he went to enjoy the success which he enjoyed. Now, there's no more to be said, just Lord rest him. All right? Lord rest him. Now, um, we have something a little bit unusual.